1963, the looming threat of nuclear annihilation prompted the US government to initiate ascension. This ambitious project involved launching a colossal self-sufficient spaceship with 6,000 volunteers on a mission to reach Proxima Centauri and establish a new colony. The scene then shifts to Lorelei undressing and getting to a pool for a swim. The next thing we see is her lifeless body being found by the water, with the emergency team arriving to take her away. 18 hours before the incident, Lorelei meets with Stokes, black market dealer in an underground location on the spaceship. After pouring her a glass of wine, Stokes gives her a small mysterious item wrapped in paper. Later, Lorelai arrives at the party and spots her sister Emily with Executive Officer Galt, despite Emily being married, and she's involved in an affair with Galt. To cause trouble, Lorelai provokingly kisses Galt in front of Emily, creating tension. Satisfied with the disruption she's caused, Lorelai heads to the swimming pool, and Krista, noticing Lorelai's absence from the pool and feeling uneasy, decides to look for her. Her search leads her to the pool, where she discovers Lorelai's lifeless body floating in the water. Panicked, Krista alerts the emergency team, who quickly arrive to take Lorelai away. Meanwhile, Harris Ensman visits the hospital to see his father, who suffered a stroke. The nurse mentions that a visitor is still around, and curious and protective, Harris steps outside to confront the visitor and demands to know why he's harassing his father. The man introduces himself as Mark, expressing sympathy for Harris's father's condition and admiration for Dr. Ensman's pioneering work. Mark explains that he's finishing his PhD on early space program and has been deeply inspired by Dr. Ensman's contributions, just as Harris was. Mark brings up Project Ascension, a top-secret interstellar spacecraft mission from the 60s, and suggests that such a mission was feasible with the technology of the time and the support of President Kennedy. Harris remains skeptical citing government incompetence and the impulsivity of such an ambitious project. Harris remains doubtful, but Mark passionately emphasizes the mission's significance and its potential impact on the world, leaving Harris to ponder the possibility that his father's work might still hold great importance. Back on the ship shortly after the discovery of Lorelai's body, Galt, Emily's husband, Duke and Captain William, are summoned to examine the scene. Dr. Juliet notices head injury, but Galt observes rope marks on Lorelai's wrists, leading him to suspect foul play. William, determined to avoid causing panic amongst the crew, discreetly requests Galt to conduct a covert investigation into the circumstances of Lorelai's death. In the meantime, Krista was in a state of shock, leading to her admission to the medical bay, where she's administered a sedative unexpectedly. Krista begins to convulse in her bed, repeatedly murmuring that they're watching, and the Globus sees all. Alarmed by her distress, Juliet decides to sedate her further to calm her down and ensure she rests. In a dimly lit corner of the ship, an enigmatic figure scrawls the ominous message, No Future, on a wall, adding to the growing sense of unease and mystery surrounding recent events. Later, Galt reveals the security footage and discovers that the beach area is a blind spot, and the corridor cameras reveal no evidence of anyone entering or exiting the vicinity, leaving the mystery of how Lorelai arrived there unresolved. Emily approaches Galt, revealing that Lorelai had been secretly seeing a man named James for his lower deck, and on the night of the murder, Lorelai had been with James and Emily had attempted to dissuade her from the relationship. However, Emily remained silent where Lorelai threatened to expose her affair with Duke, and when the autopsy results were ready, Juliet presents them to the captain, detailing that Lorelai had been involved with someone immediately before her death. Additionally, there was a puncture wound in the roof of her mouth, caused by a small but powerful bullet, confirming that her death was no accident. This revelation alarms William, as there should be no firearms on the ship, and he confides in Galt, who concurs and agrees to send a detailed report to Earth. Following his discussion with William, Galt heads to the library to borrow some books on solving mysteries. The librarian, Ophelia, informs him that the last item Lorelai checked out was a tape about the year 31. The year of fire tragically claimed her parents' lives. However, Lorelai returned the box without the tape inside. Later, Juliet is urgently called to check on Krista, who was found lying down and refusing to communicate. Upon seeing Juliet, Krista compliments her necklace, and their conversation gradually shifts to the topic of their journey. But Krista ominously declares that there's no life out there, and insists that they should return to Earth to avoid death. 
Meanwhile, Galt's team successfully locates James, and James confesses that he did see Lorelai on the day of the party, but it was much earlier. They had an argument because Lorelai didn't want to attend the party with him, and he insists that he didn't see her again that night, and denies any intimate involvement with her. Following this, Galt decides to question Krista to see if she knows anything, and Krista suggests that Lorelai went to the beach because she was scared of someone, but not James, whom she considered kind. Krista also mentions that Lorelai believed she knew the truth, and when Galt asks her about her earlier statements to Juliet, Krista simply says that she has a feeling about these things, as if she just knows them. Afterward, Galt visits James and releases him after confirming his alibi, and he then reviews security footage and sees James heading to the beach, and Galt meets him there for further questioning, but James denies any knowledge of the missing library tape. Galt, skeptical about Lorelai dying on the beach, discovers a hidden passage that explains how she arrived there unnoticed by the cameras. Meanwhile, Krista, still disturbed by recent events, goes to the star deck and feeling the weight of unseen eyes, she shouts at the sky, her defiant outburst echoes through the empty deck, her words a challenge to the mysterious forces that she feels are observing them. On Earth, Harris learns about the murder. His assistant Corello suggests informing the director, but Harris refuses, not wanting to tarnish his father's project. Galt and Duke discover a hidden passage and find the letters NF painted on the wall, along with a notebook disguised as a poetry book. Following bloodstains on the floor, they locate the spot where Lorelai was killed, and they bring the notebook to William, who identifies the note as maps for the navigation computer and the water filtration systems, both of which malfunctioned weeks ago, confirming sabotage. William authorizes them to search the ship, and when the guards begin inspecting the lower deck, Stokes resists the raid and rallies his men to fight. The clash is intercepted by an alert, indicating the ship is approaching a massive radiation storm, requiring everyone to stay in their pods until it passes. The blast shields meant to protect the ship are jammed, prompting Gold to seek an electrician from the lower decks to fix them. James takes advantage of the chaos to ask Nora to join him at the beach because Lorelai had told him that she hid something there, and he no longer trusts the officers. Together, they pull some pipes underwater and find the tape that Lorelai left inside a jar, and Juliet gives Krista some medicine to prevent a panic attack and leaves her necklace to help her feel protected. After some struggle with a short circuit, the electrician manages to fix the shields, and in a moment of privacy, he confides in gold, revealing that he saw Stokes give Lorelai a gun on the day of the party. As the ship braces for an incoming radiation storm, everyone rushes to their radiation pods to wait out the dangerous event. While in her pod, Krista sees someone in a hazmat suit enter her room and take her necklace that Juliet had given her. Moments later, the storm passes and life returns to normal, and William hears about the electrician's story and authorizes a raid on Stokes' workspace. They find the gun inside a bucket, and Stokes swears he's being framed, but he was still arrested. During the interrogation, Stokes admits to giving Lorelai the gun, but insists that that's all he did. He believes Lorelai wasn't afraid of anyone, rather someone else who was afraid of her. Krista approaches Galt and hands him an army medal that she found in her cabin, explaining that Lorelai had left it there as a gift from her boyfriend. Meanwhile, the door to Stokes' cell mysteriously opens on its own, allowing him to escape and retrieve the gun. With the supposed murderer caught, they hold a funeral for Lorelai, during which her coffin is cast into space. Back on Earth, Harris is confronted by Director Warren, who has learned about the gun and is furious that Harris tried to conceal it. She reminds him that she has the power to shut down the project at any time, but their conversation is abruptly interrupted by another emergency. On the ship, Galt confronts William about the medal, knowing it belongs to the current ship captain. William admits to having an affair with Lorelai, but denies killing her, and at that moment, Stokes appears, holding Nora hostage. He insists he was framed and claims someone had been in his workspace during the storm, because he saw an unfamiliar footprint. Suddenly, the airlock opens on its own, and Galt seizes the distraction to tackle Stokes, while William leads Nora to safety. Galt and Stokes struggle over the gun, but as the airlock opens wider, Galt opts to hold on to the wall until Stokes is sucked into space. After falling for what seems like ages, Stokes is shocked to land on an inflated mattress, where several people sedate him and take him away. Watching from afar, Warren stands with Harris, who assures her that he has everything under control. 
It turns out Ascension is a simulation with the ship housed inside a building to study the feasibility of undertaking the mission for real. Stokes undergoes a series of tests before being locked up like a madman, and later Warren sends Samantha a secret consultant to monitor the situation because she doesn't believe Stokes committed the murder and suspect the killer to still be on the loose. Meanwhile, in one of the many generator rooms, a mysterious figure sets up a bomb and scrawls no future on the wall. In the lower deck, Nora was looking at James as he was working, and her friend came and started teasing about Nora's crush on James. A superior came and intercepted them, and he then started arguing with James, which escalated to a physical fight. They started physical altercation, and moments later, the bomb explodes near the Terra Lab, and some workers are injured, but fortunately, there were no casualties. Harris and Samantha witness the explosion from outside and have to step back as the ship vents the flames. Galt, William, and Duke find the No Future graffiti and decide to tell everyone the explosion was an accident. Samantha attempts to talk to Stokes, but he attacks her and refuses to answer any questions after guards rescue her. Galt continues his investigation, believing Stokes is innocent, and he visits Dwight, the man in charge of the generators, to ask about the explosion. Dwight panics, thinking he will be arrested, and hits Galt before fleeing. Later, Samantha meets with Warren to report that Harris is claiming the explosion was accidental, but she can tell he was lying. Samantha suspects there's more going on than just sociological experiment, and Warren admits she sent Samantha to uncover the truth behind the experiment, with investigating the murder as a convenient cover-up. Meanwhile, Krista tells Ophelia that she is scared because something bad is coming. Moments later, William and Duke visit Galt in the infirmary to inform him that they can't find Dwight anywhere. They also discovered another generator is missing, suggesting another bomb might be imminent. Later, Galt informs William that his research revealed the fire in year 31 was also caused by a generator bomb, not an accident. Dwight hadn't been born when the year 31 explosion occurred, so he theorizes that a team of saboteurs had been operating for a while and that Lorelai discovered them, which led to her murder. William, however, insists that Stokes killed Lorelai and orders Galt to focus on finding Dwight. James approaches Galt, handing him the tape Lorelai had in the water and informing him that Dwight was on Deck 23, where the old explosion happened. Meanwhile, the mysterious person is seen setting up another bomb, and Galt heads to Deck 23, causing Harris to panic because the area is so damaged that external noises might be heard. Harris instructs the team to maintain absolute silence until Galt leaves, and on Deck 23, Galt finds a toy rocket on the floor, triggering painful childhood memories since his parents died in the explosion on Deck 23rd, just like Lorelai's. As Galt moves further inside, Harris approaches the ship and accidentally makes a noise, and Galt hits the wall to check if the noise is just an echo, recalling how his mother protected him during the explosion when he was a child. Deeper into the room, Galt discovers the bomb in Dwight, who pushes him away as he activates it, and Dwight reveals that Stokes was his father and now seeks revenge for his death. Outside, Harris orders everyone to evacuate, prioritizing the project over Galt's safety. Galt jumps on Dwight to fight him, and after a struggle, manages to retrieve the remote and deactivate the bomb. During the fight, Dwight's oxygen tank breaks, and when Galt runs outside and decompresses the room, Dwight suffocates and dies. Later, Samantha discovers a conspiracy website, revealing that several scientists involved in the project went missing or died in the 60s. She decides to contact the webmaster, and that night, Krista dreams of Juliet's necklace, while Harris arrives home and gives the necklace to his wife, confirming he has a contact inside the ship. A few days later, the crew prepares for their annual shots. When it was Krista's turn, she panics and refuses, insisting the shots are poison, and to reassure her, Ophelia takes the shot first, but immediately begins to have a seizure. Samantha questions what's happening, but Harris claims Ophelia had an allergic reaction to the shot meant for Krista, explaining that each shot is custom-made. Later in the infirmary, Krista confesses to Juliet and Gold that she feels responsible for Ophelia's condition. She had been scared of the shots because she saw a man tampering with the bottles, and Ophelia offered to keep her company. Krista saw all this in a dream and swears the man who tampered with the shots is the same one she saw with Lorelai in the tunnels, which also came true. 
Meanwhile, Harris watches footage of Krista's panic and is astonished by her vitals, noting that they haven't had someone with those genetic markers since 83 when a man received the wrong shot. The man's immune system attacked itself because he missed his shot and Harris worries Krista will suffer the same fate. Samantha meets with Ava, who runs the conspiracy website and Ava presents evidence of 17 missing scientists and claims the project used Kennedy's advanced education initiative to kidnap children and involve their parents in the project. They secretly put the shot's contents in Krista's milk, but she senses the trick and spills the milk while staring directly at the camera. Juliet checks all the shot compounds but finds no signs of tampering, and after Juliet left, Gaunt approached Ophelia and started having seizures. Krista was alone on the bench when a man approaches her intending to forcibly give her the shot. This man works for Harris and when Krista tries to flee, Harris locks all the doors. The mysterious man finds Krista in the lab and when he reaches for her, he injures her arm on the lab tool and Krista struggles against him and her anger causes a light bulb to explode telepathically, allowing her to escape. Harris wasn't surprised and this is what Abraham predicted and later Krista bumps into Galt and shows him the bloodstains on her clothes that was from her attacker. Juliet uses the blood samples to compare it with her database, but it will take some time and she's also concerned about Krista's white blood cell count, but Krista still refuses the shot. Gold visits Krista and persuades her to take the shot, so she was later visited by Juliet's husband Robert and seeing Robert makes Krista refuse the shot again and when Robert asks where she was seen, Krista mentions even she doesn't know like 911 the war in the Middle East and Kennedy's assassination. She also realizes that Robert is the man she saw with Lorelai in the tunnels and Robert quickly injects her to put her to sleep and turns to the camera, unsure of what to do now that the secret is out. Harris isn't worried because the next day, Krista doesn't remember anything. Robert informs Galt that the blood on Krista's dress belongs to Juliet's lab assistant and the guards go to arrest him, but upon entering the room, they discover that he's taken his own life. The gash on his arm confirms Krista's story and Harris tells Samantha that the lab assistant's death clearly is a murder, but she remains unconvinced. She begins listing the numerous clues she found while reviewing the ship's footage and Samantha believes Stokes was right about the gun being planted and suspects Harris had a right-hand man on the ship who killed the assistant to frame him Despite her accusations, Harris denies everything. Galt informs William that they searched the assistant's room and questioned people, but found no clues related to saboteurs. And a few days later, the crew throws a party to announce that due to the recent deaths, three lucky couples will be allowed to have babies to maintain the ship's population. Meanwhile, Krista wakes up in the middle of the night and hearing the sound of a woman giggling, she follows the noise down a corridor and encounters Lorelai's ghost, who disrupts the party just before a big screen starts showing a recording of her affair with William. The ghost urges Krista to look away, but Krista screams in fear. Harris reviews the footage and is pleased to see Krista reacting before the video plays, indicating her powers are growing stronger. This is the morphic resonance that Abraham predicted would manifest in three generations with Krista as the catalyst. The next day, Juliet takes Krista to the lab for tests. Krista describes the sensation of holding back the ocean, and meanwhile, Samantha approaches Corello to learn about the ship's marriage system, and he explains that the crew could not choose their partners. The computer makes selections based on genetics, to ensure a healthy population. The computer also decides who can have babies, and to prevent unwanted pregnancies, the crew is given implants, but some remove them by force. When Carrillo talks, Samantha discreetly steals his card key, and their conversation is cut short by Warren's arrival, who has read Samantha's report and is clearly displeased. In the meantime, a nurse brings Stokes his pills, and Stokes finally feels strong enough to knock him out. While Warren and Harris argue, Samantha takes the opportunity to sneak around and visit Stokes, only to be knocked out by him as well. Moments later, Samantha wakes up to find herself tied up to the locker room and Stokes was gathering clothes and a blade, demanding that Samantha take him to see the captain, still believing that he's on the ship. Samantha guides Stokes to the hangar and reveals the truth, causing him to have a mental breakdown. Galt checks on Krista, who was still undergoing numerous tests, and he also asks Robert about the incriminating record, 
and Robert confirms that it was uploaded using William's code, which doesn't make any sense. Meanwhile, Krista continues to hear a voice calling her name, and Emily was the one of the women chosen to have the baby, and has her implant removed. Duke talks about their future together, wanting assurance that Emily loves him, as he has noticed how she and Galt look at each other. Emily's silence confirms the affair, and a furious Duke goes to confront Galt. As Samantha Drax stokes away, men from Warren's organization arrive to arrest Harris and Warren takes over the project, and Krista sees Lorelai's ghost again and follows her out of the lab to the beach, where she finds Duke and Gold fighting. Desperate to stop them, she unconsciously releases her powers, electrocuting Duke, and losing control, she sends a current through the ship, causing it to shut down. The electricity also hits Warren and her men, killing a few of them. Warren suspects Harris planned this, but he quickly explains that nothing in the building is that powerful. He reveals that this was Krista's power, the next step in human evolution, and intrigued by the concept, Warren orders his men to release Harris. Back on the ship, Krista finds Galt unconscious and uses her powers to wake him up before disappearing. Galt briefly sees Duke approaching before he falls unconscious again. Meanwhile, outside the faculty, Stokes finds a memorial listing of all the people who died on the ship and loses his mind when he sees his son's name. Samantha explains that she freed him because she wanted to help bring down the project, and suddenly a guard finds them and tries to arrest him, but Samantha and Stokes work together to knock him out and escape in a car. Warren orders Harris to prioritize fixing the power to regain surveillance of the ship, and Harris decides to tap into the nuclear reactor. With the power outage causing chaos, the crew believes that they're lost in space. Stokes and Samantha discover Samantha was bleeding, and so they stop at a store for supplies. Stokes demands the strongest medicine and hurts an employee to get it without a prescription. They then hide in a motel to tend to Samantha's wound, and in the meantime, William coordinates a space-wide damage survey, and James notices strange images appearing on a TV screen and tries to inform Robert, but Robert dismisses it as a system glitch to divert suspicion. He then asks James to find his daughter and left, and Robert cuts the wires to stop receiving broadcasts from the outside world. Harris discovers the signal jammers are not hardwired into the ship, but were added years later when the world went digital, indicating that the illusion might soon be broken. He realizes he needs to access the jammers directly, and is instructed by Warren to take Corello, who is secretly working for her. On the ship, the medical bay was overwhelmed with people suffering from hypercapnia, due to the malfunction in the air quality system. Samantha meets with Ava to ask her for her help in leaving the country and exposing Ascension to the world. With all repairmen occupied with the generators, William and Galt head to the lower deck to try to fix the carbon dioxide scrubbers, only to find that they cannot be repaired. Harris realizes the same about the scrubbers and Warren fears for Krista's life, so she sends a henchman to extract her from the ship. Ava and Samantha return to the motel and Ava meets Stokes, showing sympathy for his hard life on the lower deck. While Stokes goes to gather their belongings, Samantha realizes she never told Ava about the lower deck, indicating that Ava had been working for Harris all along. The website was a ruse to discredit any legitimate clues by making them look like a crazy conspiracy theory, and to silence her, Ava shoots Samantha and then pursues Stokes, but he escapes through the bathroom window. Refusing to give up, William and Gold decide to distribute lithium dioxide through the vents, which helps everyone recover. However, Galt suddenly begins seeing Lorelai because he too was developing residence and follows her out. Robert searches for Krista and finds her at the beach where she explains that Lorelai told her everything is fake and that she will be taken off the ship. At that moment, Warren's henchmen arrive and knock Robert out when he tries to intervene, and as the henchman grabs Krista, Lorelai appears guiding Galt to the scene. Galt attacks the henchmen, and during their struggle, a frightened Krista releases all her power, causing both men to disappear. All security camera feeds go dark, and when Warren walks through the bridge to assess the situation, Harris seizes the opportunity and pushes her off and kills her. The series concludes as Galt finds himself in a strange new environment, seemingly having teleported to an unknown planet. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our recap. Like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.